how are you friends today i will told you how can we create the complete portable water system in revit i will divide the portable water system topic into five parts so that you can practice every part well and the video should not be too long in the first part i will share with you how can we create a model and the procedure of creating portable water pipe type and piping system in the second part we will discuss about portable water pipe segment and pipe size catalog how can we create pipe segment and how we can apply material on pipe and how to create a catalog of its nominal inside and outside diameter while making a pipe in the third part we will practice on pipe routing preferences piping system along pipe needs different fittings like elbow t cross and end cap etc we will discuss on these fittings settings in the fourth part we will draw a portable water system practically so that you can also make a system and in the fifth and last part we will discuss about pipe tags different types of pipe tags are required in different submissions design stage pipe tags are different and in the shop drawings pipe tags requirements are different we will learn how can we create pipe tags and how can we add parameters on tags we will discuss on these stages in details i will provide links of these videos in downward description let's start our topic first of all i welcome all my friends on my educational channel subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest videos like and share also let's start the first part of portable water system in this part we will learn how can we create a model and learn about creating a pipe type and piping system first of all open the revit revit starter page is in front of us we create a project new project browser is in front of us we always needs a project template for creating a project there are some default templates in the revit according to discipline we can use any template or if you have any project template then we can call it from the saved location through browse button and can use it there are two options downward the first option is create new project in this option we can create a project and the second option is create new project template in this option we can store different types of elements systems tags schedule formats families etc in a project template then we save this project template at any desired location and we will use 
this project template while creating a project so that we don't have to load the elements and families that we need in the project again and again and also no need to recreate systems and schedules formats let's use the default project template with the browser button the default location of project template is c program data autodesk revit 2020 if you have revit 2018 version then 2018 will display here or the version you have will be displayed there are three folders in the templates the first is the generic folder which contains templates of different countries in their languages then there are inches unit project templates in US Imperial folder US metric folder consists of millimeter unit project templates the choice of project template in terms of units is very important before starting a project the project you are working on is either in inches or millimeter the project template is selected according to the project units we choose the plumbing default metric project template for the piping system select and open it first of all save this project at any location with the name of portable water system so that you can add this project in the rest of videos to make a piping system you need two things first is pipe type and the second one is system type these two things are included in the family browser so click on the families folder now expand the pipes here you will find the pipe types and by clicking the piping system you will see different piping system here all these systems are loaded inside this project template so we can see it here the first tool is pipe tool in system tab plumbing and piping panel for draw a pipe you can select it or punch its shortcut key pi from keyboard this part of the properties palette is called type selector you can select pipe type from here at the bottom in the mechanical section you can select system type the pipe type and system type must be the same pipe diameter and middle elevation can be changed through options bar we can see different pipe types and piping system in project browser they are already built into this project template we don't use any of these and create a new system while designing the system the name of system should be same in the pipe type and system type so that there is no confusion of any kind duplicate this system by simply clicking on the domestic cold water in the piping system now click on this duplicated system again to correct its name and assign a name 
कोल्ड वाटर सप्लाई We will do the same procedure in the pipe type. In portable water system, we also need hot water along with cold water, but I would not make it yet. When we set the routing preferences of the cold water supply pipe in the next video, then we will duplicate the cold water pipe and make a hot water supply pipe. This is because duplicating a piping system, routing preferences are also copied and we don't have to do this working again in hot water supply pipe. Select Fine Pipe Detail Level in the View Control Bar. So we have to look at the pipe Double Line Equation Size. Select the Pipe Tool. The pipe type is standard in Properties Palette. Heal it and set up a cold water supply. And also set up a cold water supply in the System Type. Set the pipe diameter 50 and the middle elevation 500. Now draw a pipe in the drawing working area. Pipe edges are in blue color. We can change this color. To do this, right click on cold water supply in the piping system and select Type properties. Edit its value in graphics parameter. The line graphics bar is open. Here we can change the line pattern. Select color green 140. The line weight is adjustable from the third row. Press OK and apply it. Conceptual design stage working is in single line and continue line pattern is also not used. That's why we keep its detail level course. It was just for your understanding that how can we control it. Now we keep its line pattern no override. From the detail level fine, this pipe will look double line and actual size. Now you save this project. Today, in the first part, we learned to create a project and understand the procedure of making a pipe type and piping system. In the next part, we will talk about the pipe segment and the pipe size catalog that how to create a pipe how to apply pipe material and how to create a pipe size catalog so wait for my next video hope you understand and enjoyed today's video stay tuned for more educational videos bim talks